Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, I believe we were about to go explore the other half of the mansion. Now, we did find the chemical. We've got lots of save spots. And I am going to quickly reload. There we go. Right, let's go the long way around. Actually, we're in the right area. For some reason, I thought we was in the opposite uh, save room. Um, but... That doesn't make any sense. And my phone's going off. Wonderful. Okay. Um, now, we have the chemical. We have the armor key. We did just do a resource run. Now, I don't know what's going to be in here. So, let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, two zombies. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we got lucky. We got hardcore lucky with that. That guy got a wiggle on, didn't he? Jesus, he wasn't he wasn't waiting around for nobody. Any other zombies? No. Okay, so let's go deal with the plant. Oh, hello. I guess there are other zombies. Okay, our ammo's good. Let's try and get this guy's attention. There we go. He's not a quick one, though, which is good. We don't like the quick zombies. He... He's dead. Okay, cool. So, I mean, we really lucked out with those double headshots. That could have cost us an awful lot of ammo. And I need to mute my phone. Come on. And we're back. Okay, cool. So, yes. Oh, man. Phones do your head in. I, I swear to God. Like, literally everything. You've got Twitter and, um, like, just giving you bullshit. Emails. Ah, oh, it's just so much constantly coming in all the time. Right. So, let's nuke the plant and see what we get here kind of curious. Uh, I can't remember what I said as well, but I also swapped over to my PlayStation, fat PlayStation, um, and we're going to see. So if this one works okay, we know it's the disc. Right, let's harvest up. That looks like a crest there, which is fine. Let's grab up as many of these herbs as we can fit in our pockets. We are going to come back for all of them because we, we're going to take every single herb that we can. Uh, except maybe not the blue ones, I guess. Now, I have been tipped off by Mr. Jimmy. And that is to hold on to the acid rounds uh, that Baza gives us. So, we're going to do that. We're going to hold on to those uh, in case we get into trouble with the uh, hunters. Which, let's be fair, we will. Uh, hunters are giving me a little bit of Resident Evil anxiety because I mean I've seen some some I've seen him dealing with the hunters and oh boy uh, they they <laughs> they do not look fun so we shall deal with those when we get to them luckily we only have to deal with hunters for a little bit of the game and I can already tell this game is running it seems to be running fine. It doesn't seem to be having all the hitching problems that uh, my other PlayStation was having. So maybe it is the PlayStation on the fritz, which is a pain. Uh, I did replace the laser and all that on it. Not that, well, yeah, maybe a year, two years ago, I suppose. And it hasn't really had that much use. But then that's the trouble with buying second-hand parts. You don't know what you're getting these days, especially for such old machines. Right, let's go back to the drop box and we are going to drop off um, our herbs and we should be able to go into the itchy tasty room. We should be able to do the crest puzzle. Uh, not the crest puzzle, the emblem puzzle. Moon crest, nothing. Okay, so we have two of the crests, I think. Didn't we have a half? Yeah, we got half of the moon crest. Oh, and we've got the wind crest. Oh. Okay, we're actually... 
moving along fairly quick with this, actually. All right, well, let's stick all that stuff back. So I don't think we're going to need it just yet. Um, we'll keep the key. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with this for now. Do we want to take the shotgun? We might want the shotgun. Maybe. Just four. Where is it? The shotgun. Seven shells will be enough. Uh, with any luck, we only need one. And then we can get the clock puzzle done. I mean, admittedly, it hasn't been too challenging at the moment. Uh, I'm remarkably surprised. I think Jill is a lot easier. As I said before, I think the difficulty is going to come down to um, dealing with the hunters. I know the hunters are going to be savage. I know they are. So, we're going to get one hit insta-killed a lot. Uh, oh, magazine. Don't mind if I do. Our ammo is still reasonably healthy. I mean, we've got over 50 rounds at the moment. Nothing special. Are you sure, Jill? Are you positive? Uh, and also, um, I got a comment uh, about... There is a cheat to double your ammo supply in this game. And I did not know about that. But maybe we'll give that a go. That could be a lot of fun. Oh no! He's coming out of the closet! Hello sir! Boom! Good riddance to bad rubbish. As he falls to the floor and bleeds to death. Lovely. Alright. Well, I mean, technically... The detaching of his brain probably did most of the death. Now, this is <laughs> my favourite diary. One of my favourite diaries in Resident Evil. The Keeper's Diary. May 9, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott, the guard. Alice and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th. 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looked like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it and tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looked like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard that there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. Uh, I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and I feel very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed the dogs today. Now I feel better. You can't really take it out on the dogs. That's harsh. May 13th. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back. The doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. Uh, I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since this morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'd be in real trouble if the higher-ups found out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They said the company has ordered that nobody leaves the grounds. Uh, I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard that a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh fell off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy. Itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Ugh. Makes you wonder how far the mind on these guys has gone. So ten days it took him, roughly, to turn into a zombie. Alright, well, we have some more shells, and we've put the keeper down. I mean, that could be Scott, actually, for all we know. I wouldn't have thought the keeper would be wearing a lab coat. 
but who knows? There are only three... I mean, I guess if you count forest, there's four types of zombies in this game. Um, I guess zombie... Uh, zombie. Forest is a unique zombie. So, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Um, now, we can go get the emblem, which I believe was in the statue being held high. And it wasn't the jewel. Uh, it's usually the blue jewel. So that's interesting. No, it's a crest. No, we've already done the emblem. Ha no, we haven't. Ah. So I guess... I guess... Um, the only thing left to do now is to go fight Yawn. I mean, technically, we don't have to fight Yawn. We can get lucky and run past him. It. Uh, we do have the health to spare. We only have to get into the room, grab the shotgun shells, grab... The... I want to try something, actually. Let's... We have so many saves. We're not going to go for a pro save run. Um, I... Hmm... Let's try something here. I'm very curious. Because. I think I know somewhere on one of the games. There's a specific spot in the yawn room. Where he can't hurt you. I don't know if this is. Uh, if this is applicable to every version of the game. Or. Because I know this works in the non-director's cut. I think it's the non- Or is it the dual shot? I, I don't know what version I had as a kid. But I was thinking about this at work. And I want to try something. Windcrest. Oh, we do have the emblem. We can actually go do that. Okay, so that's what we will do then. Oh, that's if... Okay, so we'll do yawn in a minute. Let's do as much as we can before we save. Damn it. I didn't want to exit the bloody box. Wrong button. Yeah, I want to do as much um, between each saves as possible. Because obviously I am on more or less a time limit here because... Believe it or not, I'm actually coming home from uh, work <laughs> on my breaks to record this. So, yeah, we, we are against the clock. Uh, we'll take that. We don't need that. Uh, there we go. So, we've got a little bit of ammo for the shotgun. Nothing to write home about, but we, we, we're we okay. Let's go and do the Moonlit Sonata puzzle. I totally forgot we had the emblem, actually. I th yeah, okay, cool. I need to start writing notes. I do. Hmm. I mean, very soon. I've only got two days left at work, and then I'm on holiday for 12 days. And my partner's on holiday for 12 days as well. But she suffers with chronic headaches. Well, migraines, actually. So it can be hard to record when she's here. So it's going to be cool. We're going to be playing Animal Crossing and probably watching films and all that good stuff. But recording might might be a bit of an issue. She, hopefully we'll be okay. We'll, fig we'll figure it out. Right, now, luckily, this bit is a lot easier with Jill. Because Jill can play the piano. Now, what's here? Is that, that still looks like the sheet music. Yes, the music notes. Okay, cool. Now, in the remake, of course, they changed this up. So, you had to find two pieces of this. You had the, the book itself, and then you had missing pages. But I love the Moonlight Sonata. I think it's a beautiful piece of music, and I fell in love with it from this game. The more you know. Luckily, Jill can play. 
beautiful. It's so melancholy, but it's, oh, yes. It touches your soul. Oh, love it. Lovely. Right, let's go in here. I'm guessing we get the gold. Well, I mean, we have to get the gold uh, emblem from this. Yeah. And from the clock? I don't know what we're going to get from the clock. I'm guessing a key. And then I'm guessing we're going to get the last piece of uh, the emblem from Yawn. Now, I should know because I have watched um, Jimmy's playthrough. And I think I'm on part five of his playthrough, I think. Um, because I know I said I wasn't going to watch it, but it's really good. It's hard not to watch it, because it's really good. I am finding it thoroughly entertaining. Shameless plug. Uh, right, let's go in here and uh, sort the emblems out and see what we get. I I'm, I'm think it's a key. It, I mean, if it's not a key, it's uh, the other part. Nah, nah, it's got to be a key because if we get the other part of the crest, we can actually leave. No. Well, tickle me fucking surprised. Uh, okay, so we got the blue gem or the blue jewel. Now, in the original, uh, you got a crest from this, and then the red, um, the red jewel, I believe, got you the cult python. But this must be a key. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we must get a key from doing this. Now, in the remake, they added a third gem, and if you put the wrong gem in. Uh, it caused loads of poisonous snakes to fall on you. I thought that was really cool. I was kind of excited. Uh, because I thought, oh, we get three items. We get three cool items in the remake. But no, you get the poisonous gem. So there's the key. And of course, we need a key to unlock Yawn's room. So that makes sense. Yeah, we'll take the mansion key. Okay. Now, what way round should we go to Yawn? I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we could go up and over. Now, do I want to put down a save? We haven't really done that much. We've killed the plant. We've killed the plant. We've... What else have we done? Because if this doesn't work and we die here... Hmm. Okay. I know I, I I didn't want to test this off camera because I want this to be as fresh as possible. Um mm. Right, so what we're we gonna take? We're gonna take the lighter and we will take uh we might as well now nah, we're not going to heal ourselves because we don't need to. I mean, we're on fine. Uh, so what are we going to take? What did I want to try? Well, I'm glad you asked. Where's my stuff? We want that. Um, hmm... I get a horrible feeling that I've kind of killed us. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I think this is this is for science. And hey, what's what's a little little bit of excitement between friends, huh? Let's go and have a little look at yawn. I mean, the thing is, I'm gonna have to save it in a few minutes anyway. In like. I don't know, half an hour, well, not in half an hour, in like 15 odd minutes anyway, so I don't really want to save it now and then save it again and blah, 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 blah. 
because I would like to get a fairly respectable score if I could. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Hey, friend. I see you're just chilling out. Just having a bit of a relaxed session. That's cool. You can chill. I don't mind. You can stay in here for as long as you like. I won't tell nobody. Until the little green men turn up, anyway. Right, let's go this way. This way's quicker, because we don't have to go down the stairs. Now, Yawn. Now, obviously, we don't have to fight Yawn. Um, but we can just snatch and grab. But if we kill Yawn, it does... A, it makes us feel good. Yeah, he's dead. And B, um, we can come back to this room without worrying. Because I don't know what we're going to be like from a... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, no, 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 Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, there's usually a zombie down this corridor. I was not expecting two. Um, bloody hell. There's nothing in here. Alright, that's cool. Uh, there are some ink ribbons. I think they're ink ribbons that we're not actually going to take. Are they ink ribbons? I think they are. Yeah, we don't want them. That's a solid note. We have plenty of ink ribbons. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Right, there is an item in there. Yeah, it's handgun bullets, which is nice. We also want to light this. Now, I don't know if there's a zombie behind there. I'm trying to think back to his playthrough now. Um... I have a feeling there might have been a zombie in there. I do remember a version of this game where there is a zombie in there. Or maybe I'm just going crazy with, like, old age brain. Right, we're going to have that. Cool. Now, let's go fight Yawn. Yes. Uh, actually, I think we... Is this the only door that we use this key on? It might be, actually. In which case, we're okay. We can discard this key straight away. Yeah, you've used the mansion key. Yeah, cool. Okay, because there's only two items in here anyway. So, that's fine. Oh, we are on yellow fine, actually, which isn't good. Maybe I should have eaten a herb. Right, um, okay. Yeah, so here's Mr. Yawn. He is a bastard. He is a real bastard. And we're gonna... Nope, he's following us. Yep, we're bitten. Which is not fantastic, but that does mean we get a free heal. I'm sure if we stand right here... I'm sure... He can't get us. It's literally this square here. Def ah, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm sure. Nope. <laughs> Nope, I was wrong. There is a version of the game where that does work. There is. Um, but sadly, it's not this version of the game. So, rip the run, I guess. Um, well, I guess we're going to end this video here. We're, it's going to be a short video because we died. Um... But I really needed to test that. 
I really needed to know. Yeah, otherwise, it would have just bugged the hell out of me. But we've learnt something here today. We've learnt that Yorn is a bastard. Now, let me just mentally remember what we need to do. It's also very hard to get in and out of Yorn's room without dying. Or without getting bit, I should say. It's way harder than I remember, uh, if I'm being honest. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, off camera, I'm going to get us back to where we was. Uh, we're going to quickly snatch and grab out of Yawn's area. And, oh, god damn it. I need to try and remember everything I've done now. I think I might eat a herb as well, but I'm actually going to save it again now. I'm going to end the video, so that's kind of pointless. So it does look like it's my slim PlayStation that's on the fritz and not my disc, which... Well, I mean, that's cool, I suppose. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, to X. <laughs>
hopefully is trapped the other way. Oh no, 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 no. We are, we are stuck. We are stuck. We're stuck. And we're bitten. And we're eaten. And that is another. Another 30, well, about 30 minutes down the drain. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, yawn. Well, uh, <laughs> this bodes well for the boss fights, doesn't it? Uh, I think I'm going to put my pride aside and I'm going to start saving whenever uh, something dangerous comes up. That was a little bit naughty. Never mind. Um... I guess I'm going to run around off camera, do all those bits again, get us back up to just before fighting Yawn, and I'm going to save the game this time. So, thanks for watching, guys.